guys so i literally just dropped tank off this jacket is killing me oh my gosh it is just like all up in my neck it's been a morning okay it's freaking nine degrees outside and i am just having a morning so not only is it nine degrees outside it is also nine o'clock in the morning so i have to get up at eight o'clock um to get Jaden on the but well not on the bus he walks to school and then he rides the bus home don't ask me why but I had to get up with Jaden and then I had to get Tank to his new groomer. So today he is seeing a new groomer. Uh, I'll see how I like these people um, before I decide if I'm going to take them back or not. But he usually goes to Petco and they're closed. So I had to take him to a new groomer because he needed a bath. He needed his ears cleaned and he needed his nails cut because, hunty, his nails were like child like cardi b long do you hear me um so he had to get those cut and then now i have an hour and a half before he's done i was planning to go to target i brought my book bag and my planner because i was planning to go to target and get some planning done i still might go I really need to go to the Asian market. I don't know what time they actually open. Oh, they look like they might be open now. So I might, when they call me to come pick up Tank, I'm gonna stop by the Asian market first and then go get him. Cause I wanna do a bagogi and vegetables tonight. My hair looks a mess. Don't judge me guys. I literally took it out of my bonnet, threw on clothes, washed my face, brushed my teeth, ran out of the house. I forgot to even freaking put on moisturizer so my face is super dry right now like super super dry because it's cold it has just been a morning okay so i need to go to target and get a vacuum cleaner well first i need to go to the gas station because your girl light is on also today is officially first day of classes i i go to class tonight and every monday and then instead of every thursday because we also have clinicals that we're gonna start i don't have clinicals this week i think i can start scheduling clinicals for next week i don't know how that's gonna go until i go to class tonight they'll tell us all that jazz and then i'll update you guys $350. Alright. So. One vacuum cleaner and let's go. Get out of Target. With just one item. Let's see if we can make it happen. So. If you're wondering why I didn't get Starbucks. Because. I went to Starbucks. Parked in front of Starbucks. Called my mom to tell her happy birthday. We end up running our mouths for about 20 minutes while I was parked outside of Starbucks. And then um, she kept putting me on hold because everybody was calling her to tell her happy birthday. But we were like mid conversation, so I had to finish that. And then um, right when I was going to go into Starbucks, they called me and let me know that Tank was ready. So I went and went to the Asian market first, got some kimchi and bagogi marinade because I'm going to do, uh, what am I doing tonight? Bagogi kimchi rice because this diet does allow me to have rice and then mixed veggies so that's what we're gonna do when i got home took him out to a potty um he is so low-key mad y'all see him tank are you mad at me like look he won't even like acknowledge me he's so mad he hates going to the groomers like he hates it um <laughs> 
but they did a good job. He smells really good. They didn't cut his nails down as long as I wanted them to. So I don't know. I don't know yet if I'll take him back there or if I'll just wait till Petco gets re uh, is finished getting done because like the girls there, they know exactly what I want. And um, yeah, and he's still a little like, He's still a little flaky, and that usually doesn't happen when he goes to Petco. So, I know it's just because he has bad allergies. So, yeah. Okay, enough about Tank. I got um, my vacuum cleaner put together, vacuum cleaned the living room, mopped the dining room area, and yeah. Then I got some packages that we're going to open. So, the first thing I wasn't even going to share with you guys. So, oh, here, let me get this. Okay, so these are my beats. Do you see this? Do you see that? Yeah. Those are my beads. I don't know why this part comes up, but apparently it is something that happens to the rose gold ones. I don't know if it is like a defect, if it is just like wear and tear, but I looked it up and basically it happens to a lot of the rose gold ones. So I've been having these for about basically... It is just a defect that happens to this. So if you guys are looking into purchasing some beets, I would just forewarn you guys that this is something that happens to the rose gold ones. Do I absolutely love my rose gold ones? Yes. Like, first of all, they're so cute. And to work out, you can't hear nothing. Like, especially the people who be breathing all heavy on the machines. Like, I don't have time for that. But going to the gym like this, that's so ratchet. Like, I don't have time. So... I asked you guys on Instagram. Of course, nobody gave me a real answer. Well, one girl was like, she used super glue, but I was like, nah, that's too much to super glue. And I didn't want to be, mess my beats up, but I went and looked on YouTube because YouTube has an answer to everything. And uh, I found these this company called Wicked Cushions. This is not sponsored. Bought this off of Amazon myself. Um, but yeah, it's called Wicked Cushions. And it basically comes with the replacement pads. I'm like, oh my gosh, these are so white and like so clean. And of course, my white pieces, they don't stay white long because my hair is red. And when I sweat, it it like turns pink. So my pieces look pink, but these are like so white and so clean. So I'm going to try to uh, DIY this myself. Yeah absolutely love them but now that school is starting back i definitely need these i need them to be charged and i need them really tank oh now you want to be by me huh <laughs> move ah, okay i love you too uh -huh. the next thing i got Oh, it doesn't even stay on here. That's whack. <laughs> um, but I purchased it through a verified Canon. <laughs> I purchased it through a verified Canon website from Amazon. And, ooh, ooh, dang. <laughs> okay, so this is a my new vlogging camera i know a lot of you guys were like save your money you're in school but honestly i have to invest in myself and if i believe that my channel can do great and i want it to do great which i know it's gonna do great um like this is this is my year but in order to make it my year one of my things one of my goals for this year was to invest in a new vlogging camera and I did. I'm so excited. So this is the, oh, I almost dropped it already. So this is why I bought the protection plan. This is the EOS M100. So I was going back and forth between this one. <laughs> Are you done, sir? So I was going back and forth between the EOS M100 and um, the Sony A5100. I have my DSLR is a Sony camera, so I'm already familiar with Sony. But um, one of the things that I watched a lot of like comparison videos, one of the things about the Sony A5100, I believe they can't change the lenses. So I I was gonna invest in a camera. I wanted a camera where I was gonna be able to change the lens in and out. 
Um, and so that is really why I went with this. I watched a few. <laughs> Y'all, he is so aggy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, but he finally laid down. So um, I watched a few like vloggers talk about this. A lot of them said really good things about this camera. And this is still considered like an entry level vloggers camera. Uh, but the pictures on this thing, I was like, oh, they look so good. So um, definitely another one of my goals this year is to step up my, like, it's just to step up my social media game, period. So I want to step up like my Instagram pictures, do more of like themed pictures. Another cool things about this, it is Bluetooth, which I am all about it because I can just sync all of my videos directly from here to my um, my MacBook. So here's the camera. I guess we'll do the camera first. So it came in bubble wrap. I hope it's charged. Sir, it is bubble wrap. Get on my face. Um, I got the white one because, I don't know, I just thought it looked better. Oh, it is so cute. I just thought that it looked better than the black one. It is a really, really small. Um, it's like a good weight. It doesn't feel cheap. Tank! Um, and then it does pop up here. So that way when I am vlogging, I can see myself. Um, and that was one of the really important things. This one is also a touch screen. With the EF M15-45 millimeter lens, okay? That sounds real tacky, you know what I'm saying? So, it's the basic lens. It looks like this, and it looks so fragile. Good God. Oh, chow. This thing looks super fragile. Oh, it's so cute, though. All right, so you pop that off. This is the lens, and we're going to... Okay, let's just power it on right quick. Is the battery dead? Of course the battery is dead. Okay, so I have to charge the freaking battery. Um, but this is what the camera looks like. So it's really small. It's easy to pack. One of the things that I kind of figured like, I really wasn't sure about getting this is because some of the like other vlogging cameras like the Mark, to um the g7 mark ii or whatever so when you turn it off the lens automatically like it goes and it closes with this camera the only thing is it actually has like a cap that you have to like recap it is it like horrible no but will i probably lose it yes okay because it's small i'm probably i already know for sure that i'll probably lose that the rest of this vlog might not be with this because I just want to charge the battery 100%. I don't want to use the battery like halfway because that's how you mess your battery life up. So I'm going to charge that up 100%. So the next vlog that you guys see, it'll be with this unless it sucks. And then this is going back because like I said, I spent too much money on it for it to suck. But I am honestly really happy to have a vlogging camera now. Like... <laughs> so extra but yeah quality is coming to you guys like high quality i'm trying to invest in some new lighting and um yeah i want a new lens for my dslr camera so that is lighting and a new lens for my dslr camera and then i think we'll be gucci you know what i'm saying so okay guys so here are my beats this is what my beats look like um now that everything is off says i am a diyer <laughs> i did it it was so i had to take all that sticky stuff off bruh this is when i found a dollar in my bag too when i was looking for alcohol swaps this is when bringing home alcohol swaps in your scrub pockets come in handy because i had i needed alcohol swaps and i didn't have any <laughs> i i don't know how to act ow Okay, so I need to go and I'm about to take some pre-workout. 
even though I just drank coffee like an hour ago, I still need some pre-workout. Um, and then pin my hair up so that way I can work out and shower before class. And yeah, we're gonna go to class. We're gonna see how today goes. Hopefully, I, I gotta see what class I gotta show up to. Hopefully, it's the same class where I'm like, don't be changing stuff on me. I'm already nervous. I'm panicking. I don't know. Like, the thought of clinicals, I'm just shook. Shook! Do you hear me? Because I feel like I don't know enough to go to clinicals yet. I feel like this is why most people wait, like, a year before they go to clinicals. Because after a semester, I feel like I should not be going to clinicals already. But whatever. And then I thought about it. Jasmine, the first semester of nursing school, you was in clinicals. So, why did you trip in? Hey guys, so I'm officially in the car heading to school. I feel like today has been a super productive day. I should not be speeding because I don't need no tiki. Um, but today has been a super productive day. I got tank bath, bought my vacuum cleaner, um, worked out. I've been vlogging. I did my unboxing and I'm heading to class. The only thing that I did not do is that I did not um, write everything down in my planner, but I'm gonna get that done tonight. Like when I get out of class, I'm going to come home, get all of my assignments written down in my planner. And then um, I should have got to class early so that way I can use that printer paper. But you know what? I'm gonna print all my syllabus and stuff out tomorrow. All my own. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I am going to get, but I'm going to still open up all my syllabus and uh, my course like schedule and put all my due dates in my planner. It worked out really well for me last semester, so I'm going to do that again. This semester, if you guys want to see a video on it, please let me know. I'll do another video. I am out of class and I then came home. I done cooked. Everybody sleep. I done did two quizzes. <laughs> it was just like a plagiarism quiz and a syllabus quiz. So nothing major. And I filmed two videos. I'm exhausted. But I'm grinding. Okay. So we out here. We in this thing. You know what I'm trying. <laughs> um, no. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to edit this vision board video. And then figure out what I need to do tomorrow or what I can what I can do tomorrow before I go to work because I actually work tomorrow I haven't been working like six days so I'm like Ugh, I don't even want to go but there's many to be made bags to be secured you know lashes is like the best thing ever I need new lash glue let's be real so that is it for this vlog I am about to do some more work, and then head to bed. So thank you guys for riding with me today, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Love you, hoons. Bye.